Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. Just wanted to do a quick video on VR and E. That is Veterans Readiness and Employment. Formerly, it was uh, the Voc Rehab. So, in any case, if that's something you're into, please hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. So now, rolling into it, I'm going to put all the information down in the comments below. Again, this is going to be a short video, so hang on with me. Veterans Readiness and Employment is a great program. The way that the VA looks at that program is not as an educational program. However, veterans tend to look at it as an educational program. But it's important to understand that the VA doesn't feel like it's really that way, even though it's in their name. So in other words, when you go into the application process for that, you will meet with a counselor. You'll meet with that counselor and then they will determine if education is the right avenue for you. In other words, do you need to get a bachelor's degree or a master's degree? So let me run you through this. If you have at least a 10% rating with the VA and you can basically say my service-connected disability for whatever it is, is inhibiting my ability to work. Therefore, I need to be retrained into something that I can do uh, with my service-connected disability. Then what will happen will be you will file your application for VRNE. That goes through the system. You'll have, uh, I think, an online thing you fill out, and then you'll, you'll um, do a few of these kind of self-assessments uh, online. You'll print that stuff out. You'll take that with you. Uh, to a regional uh, uh, VA center and meet with um, a VA uh, readiness and employment um, counselor. So you'll watch a video. It's, you know, like a 15-minute video or whatever talking about success stories and what have you. And you might do another kind of a computer self-assessment thing. And then you'll meet with one of these counselors and tell them your story and so forth. And then... They may or may not tell you at that point whether or not they are accepting you into the program. However, um, you're not guaranteed to be entered into it. You may be eligible, but not found um, you know, suitable, we'll say. So from personal experience, I filed for, for VR&E um, once, got denied, waited a few months, filed again, went through the whole process again, and was denied again. Then went a few more months, filed again, went again. And each time I ended up seeing a different counselor. The third counselor, my story resonated and what have you. And they ended up uh, accepting me into the program. And that's how I completed out my bachelor's. Hair is a very, very important part. Okay, so stick with me. This is money, okay? What happens with VRNE is if you have any post 9-11 GI Bill remaining, they, VRNE, if they put you into an educational program while you're going through that program, they will mirror the dollar amount that you would have received from your post 9-11. So in some cases, that could be very substantial depending on your geographic location. And you don't, it, they won't utilize your GI Bill they will just mirror it. So if you had one month remaining, but you go to school through VRNE for three years, they will pay the same that you would have gotten from your GI Bill for that three year period and not touch your GI Bill. Now, if you don't have any post 9-11 GI Bill, whether you never had it because you got out before 9-11, before or if you utilized it all, or you gave it to a spouse or a dependent, that's fine they will still give you a monthly stipend. It's just much, much less. Or, or I mean, I guess geographically, right? So depending on where you're at, it could be much less or it could be about the same. I'll put all of those numbers in uh, this uh, description below. And then you can uh, go ahead and look at those um, numbers and I'll put uh, links to the calculators and so forth. So with that, uh, short video, but thanks. I appreciate it. Have a great one.